This is Abby Steiner. She is currently in last place in the women's 100 meters at this year's Tom Jones Invitational. But despite losing out on a full stride through the opening 20 meters or so, she more than made up for it over the final 80 meters. <laughs> With a finishing time of 11.05 seconds, Steiner took this Heat 2 race by a comfortable 8 one hundredths of a second, and despite getting a pretty subpar start, she found a way to pick up the pace and outlast anyone else in this race. Now, there were athletes that ran much faster in this competition in the first heat, including Tamari Davis, Melissa Jefferson, and Talitha Diggs. And we simply have to mention Jacius Sears one more time after dropping a ridiculous 10.77 in the Collegiate 100. However, what Steiner managed to do here with a start like this means that she is clearly 100% back from injury. And notably, this time was actually faster than any other 100 meter time that she ran during her 2023 season, where her season's best performance only reached a time of 11.19 seconds. With this one performance, Steiner also ran the single fastest season opener of her entire career. So seeing her in such great form so early could be the sign for faster races yet to come. However, lost in the mayhem of this previous weekend, which included multiple record-breaking performances and various new world leads, was actually another race that Steiner ran in this year's Tom Jones invite. And for this performance, she showcased even more world-class capabilities. Just one hour after running this 11.05 in the 100, Steiner returned to the track in the 4x400m relay, which was an event that was stacked with some truly insane star power, including world bronze medalist Alexis Holmes and Shawnee miller Weibo from the Bahamas, the 2021 Tokyo Olympic champion, and also the 2022 world champion from Eugene, Oregon. And as fate would have it, Steiner was set to race against both Alexis Holmes and Shawnee miller Weibo on the third leg. For the first two legs of this women's 4x4, we saw some very impressive clockings from Andronette Knight, Shamir Little, Alyssa Marsh, and Mackenzie Dunmore. And through the opening two laps, the top three teams were all within one second of each other. This placed Steiner right in the middle of these two 400 meter greats. And as the race continued, Steiner was looking very strong down the back stretch. Now through the opening 200 meters, both Holmes and Steiner passed through this half lap split in around 23.7 to 23.8 seconds, with miller Weibo in third, making up a little bit of ground and splitting a time closer to 23.5 seconds. At this point in the race, Steiner was still looking strong and smooth, and even though she had just run a 100 meter race just one hour earlier, Steiner swung wide on the final curve and made a decisive move to pass Holmes with just 100 meters to go. Now, it's important to put into context what this move actually meant, because passing Holmes is no small task. In last year's World Championships, Holmes was the athlete that passed Femke Bowl in the mixed 4x400 meter relay, eventually leading to the United States gold in the World Championships. Also, again, Holmes was the bronze medalist from this year's World Indoor Finals in the 400, achieving a mark of 50.24 seconds to finish in third place. So to see anyone passing Holmes like this must mean that they are in world-class fitness. Now, over the final 50 meters, it was actually Shawnee miller Weibo who passed the baton just ahead of Abby Steiner and Alexis Holmes, meaning that her split was the fastest on the day. And we really do need to highlight this amazing feat, because even though she is one of the greatest 400 runners of all time, she had a baby almost exactly one year ago. So to see her already running this fast just one year later is truly an amazing achievement. In looking at the relay splits on the Tom Jones results page, it showcases miller Weibo's split at 49.6 and Abby Steiner's split at 50.69. Now for Shawnee's split, this time is definitely accurate, as the baton passed this line in exactly this amount of time. And I actually did go back and measure this split myself, and it was very accurate. But as you can see for Abby Steiner, there was some kind of miscommunication upon this pass taking place, as she tried to give the baton to the inside lane when her teammate was actually in lane two. If we follow the baton itself, then Steiner's split is right around 50.69, so this is technically accurate. But if their transition had been more smooth, like miller Weibo's was on the outside, I think she probably would have saved around half of a second, give or take a few tenths. 
This means that had the baton exchange gone smoothly, Steiner would have split a time closer to 50 seconds, and potentially it could have been under 50 seconds if she had gone all out. Which means that right now, Steiner really is an amazing fitness, and this stretches from the 100 up to the 400 meters. And given that she is still the current NCAA record holder in the 200 with a time of 21.77, I think she could be ready to do something pretty special come the 200 meter dash. And now I would love to hear from all of you. What do you think about Steiner's performance in this 100 and also in the 4x400 meter relay? And what times do you think she will achieve in 2024 come the 100, 200, and potentially the 400 meters? Thanks for watching everyone, and as always, until next time.